Good morning, sir. Good morning. What are the drugs we are using during IVF protocol? Now, this video is regarding IVF drugs. What we are using? Uh, the drugs are gonadotropins, which are used for making or stimulating the ovary. The gonadotropins are of two types. Either it is urinary or it is recombinant variety. The usage of drug gonadotropins depends upon the quality of the patient and the condition of the patient. In low AMH, higher age, we usually use recombinant variety more. But few tablets like letrozole are very useful in mild stimulation also. So in IVF protocol or IVF medicine, we use these are gonadotropins, either urinary or recombinant. Along with that, we use tablets like letrozole in mild stimulation. It works very well with gonadotropins. While doing the stimulating the last stimulation or rupture of the follicle or maturation of the follicle, we, we use either urinary HCG or GnRH analog that is bosarlin or lupride. With this, most of the time we use another drug which is called Cetro Relix. It helps in maintaining the condition and preventing the premature LH surge. After embryo transfer or rather after ovum pickup, we give two types of medication. Either injectable progesterone, progesterone injection, it is little bit painful but we have to use it in some cases in fresh transfer but most of the fresh transfer we use vaginal progesterone or plus HCG injection 2000 or 5000 along with some estrogen that is estrabet or estrofert whatever it is but it is basically 17 beta estradiol if we go for FET that is frozen embryo transfer, not doing fresh embryo transfer, then we have to use estrabet or estrogen, a little bit higher dose, injection progesterone, progesterone daily, ditrogesterone of any variety, capsule of vaginal capsules of progesterone. These are the drugs most commonly used in IVF. The side effect of gonadotropins are sometimes hyperstimulation. That means eggs are being more in number in younger patient with higher AMH. In these cases, we give the trigger with GnRH analog and we usually go for frozen embryo transfer. Sometimes this is not previously decided that we are going for FET but if in between we feel that there is a chance of ovarian hyperstimulation by giving urinary HCG as a final maturation injection we convert into freeze all variety because this GnRH analog maturation trigger injection will reduce the chance of hyperstimulation syndrome which is sometimes very disturbing and patient has to be admitted in ICU also. With this technique, we try to make the IVF safer so that it should be user friendly and it should be safer to the patient. These are mostly the IVF drugs we are using. Thank you very much.